what we can see right now agent selected is on haven yeah and i'm changing the names of the teams because i forgot about to do that so i still have a sand <laughs> i don't bother all right liquid on the right side here we go now the score professional stream professional stream what i'm gonna tell you worry. you know don't worry it's it's no big deal i mean the combination we see right here coming out of them very classic very simple um a thing that i very much found exceptionally interesting when we take a look at this combination and take a look at what we have experienced so far is that um i unfortunately am not too satisfied with uh, yampi uh, overall because i genuinely think and very honestly believe that it he is not there where he should be a jet that is on an average of something of 214 acs is that really the jet you're looking for? Yeah, you know what's funny? Because when it comes to jets, they can have high ACS, but they don't have as much impact. Like, But the thing is, Scream is here on Phoenix, right? And Yampi can just be the player that is not really playing a duelist. He's, his job is not to create space because there's Scream to do that. Otherwise, if you're playing one duelist, you have to be essentially seen it uh to do his job properly so uh, uh but i do agree yampi might just not have enough playtime yet in valorant so we'll see how that goes in the future but hey we're just jumping into round one and we're gonna see yep. liquid on attack Forever. liquid on attack uh on haven yep. now for now they have just have a default setup not much happening no first push anywhere mm -hmm. yeah yampi definitely saw that and Mans with the frenzy, obviously go kill, can just dash into your face, and therefore those 14 bullets in the mag of the fully automatic pistol are very valuable. And Ori is just holding the crossfire here together with Eddie, who still could flash his opponents twice, but they enter, and that is going to be a push by the book. Hello, far here's the first one, frenzy go kill, frenzy oh! does kill, and Jampy starts off like that. What a double kill from Yampi, we were just talking about how he doesn't have to create space, but yet in the pistol round, he went nuts and this scream goes in. Beautiful stuff. No real challenge, it seems to be for Liquid. That's the pistol round going their way, and the pistol round on Haven is usually something that we see, you know, actually not so successful for them. I have to say, you know, when you take a look at the recent statistics, mm -hmm. only 46% of their pistol round go their way. And, you know, that's not a lot. Obviously, a weaker team than usual. Not tier one opposition. Yet again, it was just pretty much by the book. It was actually very well played and executed. They didn't yeah. go into, into a hurrah play. You know, that we typically see when a team is very confident. They just rushed in. But Liquid took their time and opened up a very good pistol round. Now, against the Eco with two sheriffs. And they're going to try to just get the op control first, which is very important. Oh. Boom. So Kaz with the kill through the smoke, but I wanted to touch since you know this round is more of like a throwaway unless Big Fizz gets a headshot. Let's give him some time. Sash, take it over, please. Yeah, surely we'll do so. And as they right now try to enter that site, oh, he didn't expect that little Tasmanian Tiger to bite him, and he pretty much bite him in the bum. It doesn't change the matter of fact that Ike is still around. And as the, the Hawk goes down, he blows a lot, sprays him down, and Soul Cast. It's closing it out in combination with Yampi. And so the second round is brought to the table, served and set. But now finally, Lofar, we're going to see a buy on the site. That is correct. One, two, three, and four. But let's take a look at the economy and the ultimates, because this is going to be nuts. Solcast already ready with his ultimate on Sky. Super impactful, something that we're most likely going to see um, at like as an initiator in this round. But hey, Scream is five out of six. He's most likely going to go for that op control on C-Long again. And that will allow him to have that, you know, fighting drawn, as I like to say. Uh, and imagine having to face Scream twice in one round. That That's pretty scary. It is. Uh, pretty much it is. All right, well, let's see. There's the orb control for Phoenix. Scream is looking at his running back ready. Aori gets the information. One player is in a short. They knew that someone could take control of it in the beginning because of the all, all of the utility used on the A lobby. Now slowly Liquid is joining the Omen. Ika gives that info. More players going A short, but no rotation yet. Uh -huh. Not I've yet. got your trail. But here Joke's comes over. the Seeker. You're and dead. well, it seems like all the ults are going to be used. Scream is coming in. And that's the Scream we all know. Trying to find the 
Star and Golem continue to spray blue. He's still on the goal, just making sure you know! And that's obviously Scream. Finds the double, gets them out of CT as much as possible. Surely they lost Jet along the process. It doesn't change the matter of fact that they're on site. Though Big Fizz is hungry and pretty much aware of what's up, they still gotta make sure that they maintain control over the site. Remain calm, close those gates, close those doors, and so they will most likely gravitate to a third, as though they very much are aware of that omen. The CT players also gotta put right now in consideration, but Soul Case is on it, and the Soul Cast and Squad is one pretty much remaining. looking for the win. Yeah. They finish it off like that. This was so well played by Liquid. You know, I I don't want them to sound biased because obviously there's one team that is very known and has some strong old names like Scream and Yumpy in the team. Uh, but this was really well played. I just want to point out how important utility usage we have seen in this round. The combination of the Seekers and the running back just gives so much space and control of A-side. Yeah, and yeah. Scream can be fearless. When he was playing on Reyna or on Jet, he still has to have this, um, you know... Um, image of him dying right if he pushes too much when he's playing with running back he just goes in you could have seen that he ran out of ammo no problem i'm just switching to classic and jumping <laughs> jumping forward it's nuts there you go and scream is now two out of six and he can still take the orb so he will be three out of six actually Solkas is picking it up so he's three out of six they're gonna build up the ults ready for the next full buy from uh, one two three four and this is something that is so important they're just gonna punish one two three all the time yeah. I mean, look at it. It's it's by the book, really. You you open up the chapter number seventeen of how do I properly play Haven with this kind of setup, and you will pretty much just watch this VOD and be like, yeah, I mean that seems to work. That seems to be the coordination you're looking for. Adrian trying to show his best charity play. As he starts off quite good on the screen. That's pretty much where the chapter ends. Yeah, and they, we're in a very similar spot uh, as round three. So round five will be very similar. Solkas, we're gonna go for an op control. Scream is at four out of six, so he's gonna be almost ready with running back. But the seekers, it's something, and you can see already where Solkas is moving towards that C long for the orb. Right, he's gonna go for it. He wants to pick up that ultimate as soon as possible and this will be the initiator again because of that one two three can actually think about maybe challenging that long c but this is only the omen so uh big fist trying to move towards cubby i think uh, there you go <laughs> I mean, I really, I really have to ask myself: Do you think dashing in your opponent like this is paying off against Liquid? Talking about it, oh, all wow. big okay, fish. okay, okay. Uh, I respect that. Yeah, that's still. a big double kill from a Sova ultimate. Are you kidding me? That doesn't happen often to get a double kill with one Sova ultimate. Yeah, baiting out utility though there for kill with with kill joint. Cover going out. And they can isolate it to some degree. I mean, the side itself is absolutely clear. Absolutely every angle is going to remain empty and is already getting ready. It's too old of a trick, isn't it? It's not going to be that easy. And so, Spike hits the ground just a few centimeters under heaven. And as they move closely towards the site, only the Omen ult would be there for one, two, three, four. Nobody's flanking, no one from short, no one from long. And that means two choke points that could become very uncomfortable any second soon. Link is spotted, yep, that's problematic. Link is about to kill a few, yep, that's nice. It does not change the matter of fact that only Cryptix has to turn this one around. The man has found some snacks, he's ordered a meal, but he's getting a feast. And that is the triple that's bringing them the fifth. They remain fearless and strong. Cryptic so far with zero deaths in five rounds. He's clutching that round impactful. Super impactful win of the round because, you know, first of all, most one, two, three, four actually showed promise in this round. They got the initial three kills and it was uh, three versus two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that was a big chance for a retake, but it seems like they were just lacking the utility. Aftershock was used under under hell, but the code, like they say, there was no coordination in the retake because there was no trade set up to get those players at the same time. Now, they're being stopped no. by Eddie, but no. Eddie with one HP is gonna it's have ridiculous. a tough situation to handle here. 149 damage. Uh, wild, wild, and has a little Tasmanian Tigers coming in. They just push through. Jampy starts the action. More to come on the side of A. But they just don't hit the shots. One the enemy plan. remaining. And suddenly, it's just a clean sweep. Breach and clear. It pretty much is. And Adrian once more, only with the Sheriff. A little deja vu we have, but that deja vu is most likely turning around 
to be a six except uh, let's not be anything exceptional ain't happen yeah, it's gonna be tough. And uh, as you can see, Scream, when he has to run it back, he's gonna use it every single round. And I feel like, you know, Scream is a big fan of Dragon Ball, right? And he is. Um, when Boo Boo, uh, what was the Magine? That was the boss of of Boo Boo, if I can remember correctly. But he, they had like the other M on their forehead, right? Uh, and I feel like Scream can just turn it around, like upside down. It's gonna be a W because that's he, what he's gonna do instead of an M. He's just gonna double key everyone. That's that's his that's his um that's his motto in this game on Phoenix. He just doesn't care. He has double lives, like almost like a cat, and he just go through the enemy team without fear. And well, as you made analogy, I totally don't understand. Yeah, because you said you don't understand pop culture, right? Yeah, this is Absolutely why I'm horrible. this is why I'm yeah. doing those very convoluted and niche jokes so you can feel Thank uncomfortable. I mean, I only can try to do the motorsports joke, but I, I'm not quite sure how the, how big the fan base <laughs> is about. That. I think you will have more popularity with yours than I have with mine. In the meantime, Ike is standing a bit of an obvious spot and therefore gets pre-fired. Just can brush it off his shoulder. Not too much damage dealt. Can pull the bullets out. Are. But here come the Seekers, and that means that the B side is about to be taken. Soul has a little reckless with his move. Scream can escape, and still, it is a Defender Killjoy who might just come a little early, might just not there be on time, because especially the attackers still have theirs ready here, Lofar. Yeah, I, I feel like that's um, still Aww. pretty good choice. 30 seconds left. Because they were facing a brutal attack with that um, Seekers. It just signals that they want to go through the side, but now A was left open. Easy plan for Liquid, but it's a three versus five hold boss plan. Ken can do it again. Ken Cryptis, he has the ultimate. It's a deep on spot. If there are still shock darts, this is easily destroyable, but no shock darts available. So they no. have to wait it out. This is crucial 15 seconds that are being paid um are being paid towards the diffusal of the spike but now rick and Raro goes in they retake shots uh, well the question is is that gonna work not at all pretty much a shot down by the book again two more though to come i'll take that back it's long thank you very much for that i'll take those dog tags and that means pretty much everyone of one two three four is running on e gas tanks empty and they're missing the fuel for the power at the moment oh my that line up i feel like they took uh, their, um, the, the advice from, or like, you know, they learned their mistake from the previous retake when they didn't have those trades prepared. So now they wanted to be over eager a bit and just lined up. And they just like literally lined up for Link to get a double kill with that Phantom instead of having like a wide swing and a short swing. Unlucky. Blinded. Uh, look at the information gains. No is about the kind of mid aggression that might just be close by. Great Hawk. And so Adrian Hawkeyes. and all his colleagues are in a very, very dire situation. Really pure draw that's coming their way. Soulcast can escape. And Scream is going to join the party, but a surprisingly passive approach at this time. As the only map control so far is somewhere towards C Cubby. I mean, they. That's true, that's true, but they still have superior superior equipment. Liquid can just take this very slow. They just wait for their opponent's utility to just go away. And then slowly advance. Uh the sky's utility is just so good at checking if someone is holding your angles. And this is why we're gonna see Solkas right now. Uh with the Tasmanian Tiger going for a short. No way! How unlucky can you get? Because he was absolutely expecting what is about to happen. He was absolutely having it on the radar, but oh, not like this. Back. And welcome to the one tap masterclass. 30 seconds left. Really one enemy Cryptics remaining. Cryptix is joining it. So, seems like we have another tutor for that. But either way, dead. Eddie's eliminating Soulcast for sure. More to come. The double is secured for young Eddie. As the German is beheading already two of the liquid players, they are just heading more in his direction. Cryptix might Five just advance the list, but ain't happening. Uh, by the way, I see the chat. Remember, three minutes delay, right? So I'm just reading the chat right now. They're asking about the X-ray. The X-ray is turned off when there's a clutch. But when there's no clutch, the X-ray is on. That's our observer's, um, let's say, that. typical uh, procedure, you know? To have a bigger excitement when a clutch is happening. Understandable. 
right? Move. So please stop spamming X ray, guys. This is what a artistic choice. Time for a field test. <laughs> what are you talking about? They don't see the same as we do. <laughs> You're nuts, man. I always have the same visual like here in rank games. Keep well, away. a very slow advancement towards double doors. Right now, Phoenix. So scream if someone didn't pay attention. Trying to get control of the double doors. He uses his utility. He knows there's something there. Uh, and that's already the little bot killed. A lot of control they take towards A lobby, though, finally. It's a Ruby, though, pretty much quite big awareness from the side of Liquid coming their way as Killjoy Utility, by the way, is now taken. I'm taking that back. It's still becoming a little problematic. Gunspeed might just dash through. Nope, not even there in time. The alarm Good bot day. is eliminated. The destination is called Seaside. The control is taken, and there's not much room for error right here for 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, this is looking tough. It's pretty much not gonna work out. I mean, at this point in time, the superiority of Liquid is just pretty much shown again and again. Though this becomes man equalized, there are still a few more obstacles in the way, and they have to overcome all those barricades in form of the triplet. And that triplet, obviously very vital. Link is not gonna be spotted. Lucky for him, and he could be just a key aspect of all of that. Remaining. As the last player is taken out. The German falls, ninth round. And, you know, when asking, for example, Emil, what is the thing that Liquid is missing? You know, when asking the coach, Venapi, he says, time. It's just patience. They have added Yampi in February, and that's not even two months ago. That is true. I mean, they're looking strong, but let's say they're playing against a mixed team that is playing for four weeks now together. So, you know, Spikes here. this is an expected result, but are we yeah. going to see a 13-0? I don't know. Actually, I was talking about the X-ray, but now I just realized maybe something is really wrong. Is that my choice? When my options? Wait, am I? What, Get out of my what, way. what is it? The lack of X-ray? I do see X-ray. I do. I, 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 I was. Oh. I'm having X-ray. I see. Now it's on. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. It's all good. Low far. What are you doing? And I... the same goes for Yumpy. <laughs> oh no unfortunate scenario right here eddie falls i mean they were trying to exchange blades sees who got the sharper ones but what a wonderful hawk you can always see on the minimap how swift and at the same time controlled he's putting in this little flash two versus four retake this is gonna be a i mean not retake yet there's no plant but surely it will pretty happen at some point and uh there's no way they can fight for a side control with two versus four no. and the utility that they have One enemy ah. remaining. don't see it happening i i don't see it happening and for now <laughs> it, it seems like it's a very nice uh sheriff practice range but other than that it's a clear clear sweep from team liquid it couldn't be easier for them at that point and I, I think this is actually the, you know, from start to finish, the the, the most, the, the, the cleanest game, the one without any mistakes we have so far seen from any of those professional teams in this qualifier. Mm-hmm. True. All right. Do, you know what? I just realized my entire settings for my hey. account just changed from yesterday. What are you doing, Lofar? Nothing. I didn't do anything. Sure. That's just so weird. <laughs> I mean, I'll put it that way. This will most likely be a fast map, so I think you can very much change them anytime soon. Yeah, I'll no. I'll change it uh, in a moment. We'll see. Take your time. As in the meantime, Scream is definitely not taking his time. He's firing on all cylinders. Man, he's just jumping there and getting what he tries to find for himself. Though Link eliminated in the process, the flank might be just coming in immediately as one of the issues most definitely is the spike being down there but it's no problem cryptics chimes in back suicide from the control yumpy it's just sniping them all away and that's a funny story about yumpy really because in 2018 when the man was just 16 years old he was Last playing a finnish land called land trek with some decent names in the cs scene you might have heard of you know ariel and also indeed Here. and a few days before the tournament Here. he broke his hand he broke his mouse hand 
but right. he wanted to play, and therefore he swapped his sensitivity up to 15. When you need to see the usual CS sensitivity is somewhere, you know, one, two, sometimes four, maybe at maximum. But mm -hmm. uh, the man wanted to play. And how did he do? Do you remember? Uh, he, he yeah, he, he, he upped up the sensitivity to 15. Ah. Yeah, but did he play well? Uh, uh, one map he was quite decent, the other one he wasn't that great, but. I mean, it wasn't like he was totally wrecked. It was an okay performance for someone who was not I've having big trained. professional experience uh. and a broken hand. I see. So, no, it's well, a uh, in the meantime, a brutal attack on A side is oh, happening. No. That is the counter ult from Breach. Does it do much? Uh -oh. Yumpy with the miss. Two versus three. Suddenly, this is doable for one, two, three, four. Solkas, in the meantime, just tries to take C control. Yumpy is left with the spike, though. But Solcas taking map control, he will hear the breach. Ah, they were both heard. They're aware. Now yep, Eddie heard that one crucial. Oh, he one crucial it. step, but he didn't go for that fake flash, something that we discussed yesterday a lot of times. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. Your opponent knows that you're there. Just shoot it and destroy it instead of turning around. Yeah. That obviously didn't work. Unfortunate for him, he was pretty much big. Yeah, coming out with the operator. The last rock to be found is not coming. It is round number one for Big Fizz and Cole. The lads finally come up from the death. And as they are vitalized, um, it's a long track. It's a marathon they have to run. And it's a marathon I don't really see them win. The prophecy might Switching be true. Sides. After <laughs> one comes two. And then three and four. We'll see if that prophecy will come true. But so far, they only have the one. All right. Well, now on the attack. Let's see what is the setup for both teams. Um, Killjoy has the turret on B. So there's uh, most likely no, no one will be guarding it. It will be completely open for a retake. And I like that a lot because Solcast is able to clear a lot of angles with his flashes or uh, with his wolf if he will still have it uh for the round um then we have yampi on c me. while the attack seems to be very default or a split cb without any control on a but that's the turret uh from Kildra. that's their job uh when it comes to the controlling the map in that spot yeah man you know the map pick from liquid <laughs> looking as easy as possible frenzy go kill is the motto works for screen and there is, you know, the, 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 the attack is not going for too much map control, and that's seemingly abused by Yampi yeah. as he one taps Ori away. Definitely has joined the Scream Masterclass on this. No real issue for any of them. And as he dashes away, they know where they are. They know where the spike is. This is now the shooting enemy gallery remaining. for Liquid. And, well, Yampi yeah. wants to become the star in this. Oh, no, look at that. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Obliterated. Yeah, that, that was... Uh... A Last little bit point. awkward, and but I really like how Yampi played um, his utility around the Killjoy's um, Alarmo bot because you could see that he absolutely ignored it, right? And the reason for that is when he wide swings and the bot is still there, that means not a single opponent will be ready for that wide swing because they're not alerted by the bot in time. This is why he gets basically one, two shots for free and then he dashes away. That's, that's what exactly what he did and you can see that the opponents were unprepared. So if he would hit that, that would be absolutely phenomenal. But, uh, well, he didn't. Now he has the oh, info. Oh, so many people go. go there on you C. go. Spike ah, down. You love it. You love it. And so, Yampi, five points of health. Wonderful usage of the Marshall. And, well, they want to make it as clean as possible. And it seems like that's going to happen. Flash coming around. Screen, though, at the same time, is going to fall the same for the pin. And as they now use the ice cold, Soul Cat is coming to the pool. Still standing. falls, and that means one man can save the day. Someone's lurking from behind, and Link ah, spotted in the Spike meantime. Planted. That's causing the problem. Flash is already there, and as suddenly paranoia strikes, he's still going for it. He doesn't care. Goes for the first, can't make it work. Ten rounds, my dear. Low far ten. To There's go. the prophecy fulfilling. One, two. We're looking at a three and a four. Let's go. But they, they actually had together 20 and 17 HP. That's 37. That was pretty low, but uh, they marked, they marked Link 
with the drones there was a very small chance of him uh playing this out uh, especially right. when they're taking two angles but well when you could maybe discuss wouldn't it be better for him uh to just wait it out the drone he still had the time right he still had the time to do it but yeah let's just go for another Blinded. quick attack one two three four goes to Elon. yeah and right now that's gonna be a tough one seems like screams gonna have a struggle right here <laughs> that was a lot of people <laughs> that's just all the utility all the people the entire squad you don't really want to mess with that surely scream things would allow him but right now it feels a little bit like first round or more likely first lap off a of horizon to keep a mazepin versus certain paris drive and well that is pretty much a performance like that double kill from cryptics man equalize it is and one half machine yumpy is starting the job man and imagine this round started with uh, Scream just dying first against five people that he saw. Oh no! Yampi goes with the jump, misses his shots. Two versus two. Killjoy on, let's say, 40 HP. There's a Bucky. Remember, this is the daddy patch for the Bucky. Last player standing. That's the Wild West, my friend. And the Wild West is going to be ended by the Sheriff. And he's sending you to jail. And he definitely looks for a new deputy in this one. 13 2 2. By the book, no real sweat, no real issue, all just ideal and wonderful.